In this video, we discuss if certifications are important for a career in DevOps and if yes, which certifications should you do? So let's start with a very common question. Are certifications necessary to get a job as a DevOps engineer? And the answer to this totally depends because some companies may require to have preferred certifications for the job role. And let's say you want to become a DevOps engineer for a company who is using Azure as their cloud. So they may require candidates having Azure certifications. Similarly, if you want to work for a company who uses Kubernetes, you need to have Kubernetes certifications as well. But having certifications is not necessary, although it will help you a lot. When I started looking for a DevOps job as a fresher, I had AWS Cloud Practitioner and AWS Solutions Architect Associate along with few DevOps projects. And I got selected because I had AWS Solutions Architect Associate certification as a fresher, which gave me an upper edge among all the other candidates. One thing to understand, DevOps is a critical job and companies want qualified people who know their stuff and having certifications will prove that you have understanding and practical experience of the tools and you will not break production. Another reason why companies only hire people having certifications is because they want to apply for different programs like AWS Partner Network, which helps them get projects and make money. But to become AWS Partner Network, you need to have certified people in your organization. So this is another reason why companies are looking for certified professionals. Now that you understand why you should get certified, let's look at important DevOps certifications you should do in 2024. So this is tough one. Getting the right certification is very important because certifications are expensive. And it takes weeks and months of training for any certification. So you need to make sure that you're investing your time and money in the right certification. There are so many DevOps certifications right now in the market, but you don't need to do all of them. You only need to know or you only need to get the certifications, which we will be discussing in this video. So if you are a fresher, I would highly recommend you getting a cloud certification, which can be from any of the three major cloud providers. You can get from AWS, from Azure, from GCP, if you are a fresher and learning AWS, you can get the AWS Cloud Practitioner, which is the foundational level, but that is not enough even if you are a fresher. So you also need to get a associate level certification, which can be either Solutions Architect or Developer Associate. So if you are a fresher, you can get associate level certifications from any of the three major cloud providers. Along with that, I will also highly recommend you getting the HashiCorp Certified Associate Certification, which is not so difficult if you get the associate cloud certifications. Apart from this, you can also try getting the Kubernetes certifications, which are CKA or CKAD. But if you are an experienced person with, let's say, two years, three years or four years of experience, you should be getting the professional level certifications for AWS or even for other cloud providers. You should get the same certification equivalent to the AWS DevOps engineer professional. In Azure, you have Azure DevOps expert. Along with this, I will also highly recommend you getting the CKA, CKAD, CKS certifications if you are an experienced person. But if you have money and time to spend, you can also try out getting the Docker certifications, Prometheus certification, and other ones which are actually necessary. You should not waste time or money on certifications that will not help you. I've seen people uploading Udemy certificates on LinkedIn, which is of no value and nobody cares. So you should only upload or show your certificates, which are global certificates such as AWS, such as Terraform, such as Kubernetes and others. So invest your time and money only on valid certifications that will help you. So this was our video on DevOps certification. I hope now you have a clear idea on why you should get certified to become a DevOps engineer. But remember, just getting multiple certifications using exam dumps or through cheating will not help you. I remember an interview which I did for a client. The candidate had AWS certified DevOps professional certification but he was not able to answer what was Elastic IP and why we use Elastic IP. So certification without skill is just waste of time and money. So certification along with skills is going to help you get higher salary, get a promotion. Now with that being said, I hope this video was informative. I have to go prepare for my CKA exam, which is today. I hope this video was helpful. Please like this video. Subscribe to CloudChamp. Bye.